Hello everyone, uh, my name is John Jensen, I'm a member of Alpha Sigma Phi fraternity and I attend the University of Wisconsin Whitewater. Uh, my presentation is called You Don't Even Know Me uh, because I'd like to talk about a new way to approach Greek unity, uh, kind of going off of what the last speaker talked about. This is Louis Manigo, he's the principal founder of Alpha Sigma Phi and the only reason that he established Alpha Sigma Phi at Yale in 1845 was he hated the Kappa Sigma Theta fraternity that existed on campus. He hated it, and that's a similar story for almost all of our organizations. So let's get over it. We mostly only like each other during recruitment. We talk about Go Greek because it benefits us and it benefits our chapter. But what happens when recruitment's over? Do we still like each other as much as we did during those two weeks or one week, depending on your campus? Tell me if you've ever been to a social where one chapter lines up on one side of the room and the other on the other, just like a middle school dance, where it's boys on one side and girls on the other. I know I have, and it doesn't do any good. You don't get anything out of it. You don't create Greek unity out of it. And let's not forget, there's still that one group you hate on campus. Raise your hand if you can think of the one chapter that you just can't stand because one member in that organization did something that drove you nuts. And you probably know someone in that organization that is pretty cool. Um, but you probably don't have a real reason for why you hate them. Like I said, there's that one person who made you feel that way. There's a uh, chapter on my campus. Me and the former president didn't get along very well. That ruined our relationship from our chapters, and we're building that up right now. Um, that formula doesn't work. Chapters cannot interact as chapters. They're not sentient beings. They're not able to do those things. Clumping people together creates problems. You can't put people in a room and say, be social, be Greek together, and have it work. And one member, like I said, could ruin Greek unity. So let's ditch that model. Let's completely get rid of it. We need to do things like these two gentlemen are doing. Sit down, exchange ideas, and form personal relationships. <clears throat> Because ultimately, that's the only way that we're going to make Greek unity a thing. Uh, like I said, members from different councils, members from different organizations can get together so long as they find common ground and can be people together. That's me and two members from uh, chapters on my campus. None of us are in the same organization, and we get along really well. So how do you do it? Remember, you're a person. Every other member of every chapter on your campus is also a person. All you have to do is act like it. If you act like people and interact as people, as individuals, you're going to help Greek unity on your campus. And you might need to disaffiliate as an individual when you're interacting with each other. Put your letters aside when interacting with other Greeks. Because ultimately, the only thing that matters is that we're Greek. Not what letters you're wearing, but the fact that we are Greek together. So become friends. Like I said, interact as people. Interact as Chris and John, not as Pi Kappa Alpha and Alpha Sigma Phi. If you can find common ground, you're going to be able to establish a personal relationship. And I'll talk about a couple ways that you can find that common ground really easily. But there's some other things that you should think about. You need to acknowledge each other's existence. A simple sub can go a really <laughs> long way. And don't talk crap about other chapters. Uh, people hear it. There's Greeks around you all over. There's also non-Greeks who are going to tell each other. Your oaths aren't that different. Uh, there was a speaker who talked about it yesterday, but ultimately you had the robes on, the candles were lit, you took an oath on the Bible or some other text, and you said, I swear to be a good person. I swear to try to better myself. Our oaths aren't that different. That's a great common ground. So here's the cheat sheet. Step number one to fixing Greek unity and establishing a personal relationship is to shake their hands. Fired Up Production says, handshakes lead to conversations, conversations lead to uh, relationships, relationships lead to organizations, and organizations change the world. Uh, step two is to ask to meet with them and hang out. Say, hey, do you want to get coffee? Do you want to grab lunch? Do you want to grab dinner? Do you want to go see this movie that's playing? Just something where you two can be together and not with the rest of your chapters. You're going to get that group think going on if it's not just you and that other person. Step three, relate to them. Find common ground and be their friend. Like I said, talk about your oaths. Uh, the oath is not really supposed to be that secret. You guys can find common ground there and say, yeah, this is what I promised for myself to be, and you probably promised that you would do the same thing. The last step is to repeat that entire process. If you're able to do that with more and more people, make it replicable, you're going to be able to make Greek unity for yourself, your chapter, and your entire community better uh, because you're establishing more personal relationships. Personal relationships are the only kind. Chapters can't interact. Socials are not going to fix the problem without those personal relationships. You get that boys on one side, girls on the other side model. And the more relationships you have, the less drama, because you have a personal relationship and a personal friendship with more people on your campus. I want to thank you guys for letting me share that information, and I hope you enjoy the rest of Ignite and the rest of AFLV.